August 12, 2005 Jesus I speak today to all souls who have vocations in the church. Dear souls consecrated to me, I rely on you more than you understand. At this time I intend to use you powerfully to witness to heaven's presence on the earth. The period of time that is ending, the age of disobedience has taken many of my consecrated souls from me, and they live out their lives away from their vocations. They are forgiven, of course, and cherished, and many serve me beautifully in other ways. I do not waste the presence of a willing soul, as you all know. If a soul loves me I will find work for that soul and begin to prepare the soul's reward. I consider each one of you a heavenly asset. You have faced many challenges, it is true, and to have held your course steadily through these years is an achievement. Now I am asking you to move even closer to my heart. I want you to draw your every breath for me, and for my desires, my needs. If you do this, unite yourself completely to me, every moment of your remaining time on earth will be utilized. I will draw graces from the time you rise to the time you retire and from even your rest. Give me everything. Replace any remaining self-will with my holy will. Tell me often that I own your vocation. How this consoles me and comforts me. You see, I am suffering. I suffered from the anguish of the souls on earth who wander in darkness. I suffered from the rebellion that causes such upset in families and even in my church. But you will help me and this gives me solace. Work for me, please, in everything you do. I will not hide my will and that is my promise to you. End of message.